Welcome to Radio Fixer's channel. Subscribe for upcoming videos. Hello, welcome to my channel. I created this channel for those of you who are interested or you are the beginner and want to learn how to totally restore the antique radios and so you can follow and uh, repair or restore yours and also you know if you are having some missing part for your radios uh, we we'll go through the detail how to actually you know build those or fabricate it in this video i'm going to show you how to create the audio single injectors be able to inject signal to the audio section of your radio It was incredible, isn't it? Let me show you how I did this. Stay tuned. Enjoy the video. All right, these are the parts you need. Uh, this is alligator clip. I add some wire to it. This is a mono jack. I also add some wire to this as well. You need a regular pen something like this is just you see it's a pen this is a capacitor is a 0.05 microfarad another capacitor this is 0.01 microfarad and you need a rivet something like this let me show you how you put this together i'm going to take this pen apart so we can install those parts inside you want the type of pen that you can open the top as well as the bottom that's going to make your job much easier so here okay see this all came apart so everything is out so I'm going to now install the part inside this pen as I mentioned earlier, you want to find the type of pen that your capacitor can fit inside. As well, you know, you can take the back and the front out. Usually, this is how rivets look like. See that? What I did, I popped this out and put it other side like this. You see the difference? Let me show you why I'm doing this. If I use the way it's original, I'm going to have a hard time to solder here. You know, it's the wires right here. Also, when I put this one on like that, this is going to be too short. You know, sometimes the chassis is pretty big. I don't want to, you know, put my hand all the way inside the chassis. So by reversing that, by taking this piece out and put it other direction first i have a place right here that i can solder right here second when i put this on like that you see this is going to be much longer so when i test something it's much easier you know to touch you can cover a portion of this with hitch shrink like what i did in this one right here see that see what I'm talking about you can put a heat shrink again I need this extra length so it'd be easier to get under the chassis and touch each two pen if it's too short it's going to have a much harder time see if it's too short the difference Again, you have option, use this way or the other way. They both will work. But if you do it the way I share with you, it's much easier to solder here, at the capacitor right here, because you have some place that you're gonna hook up. Of course, the rivet size that I used is the size that they actually go through this pen. If it's very large, see, it doesn't go through this at all. That's why I choose this one, all right? All right, these wires are installed inside this. Okay. 
I soldered all this part together. I will show in a schematic, you know how to do this. Now let's put everything back in the pan. I'm going to put here the rivet back in the tip. I'm adding some solder resin here to the tip so it'll be easier to solder. Okay, the soldering is done. Let's now put everything back together. Of course, here's the top. Also, this end goes together. I'm using this shrink tube, you know, so you can install it in the rivet. All right. This is how it looks like. Let's test it to see how it's performing. I'm going to test these single injectors in three different equipment. I'm going to hook it up to the Bluetooth. I'm going to hook it up to the regular radio that it has a 3.5 millimeter jack. I'm also going to hook it up to a computer speaker and that it has again 3.5 millimeter jack. And so you can see the results. All three works very well, depends what equipment you have. If you have Bluetooth, you can use that. If you have a radio like this, you can use that. Or if you have a computer speaker like this, you can use that as well to test this thing that we just put together. So let me show you one by one how they are performing. As you see, the Bluetooth is already on. The ground going to hook up to the chassis. As I mentioned in every video, you do not want to do this without hooking up your radio to oscillation transformer. That is very important. The Bluetooth, as you see, is on. The light keeps coming on and off. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my phone to send signal to the Bluetooth then from Bluetooth, I'm going to inject it to two uh, tubes uh, that has to do with audio section of the radio. So let's get it started. All right. You see the song? This is the song we're going to play. I'm going to put it right here. So let's test the radio. As you see, the light is on. If I turn down the volume. See, the radio is working. So, I'm going to touch the pen, the audio section 12SQ7, pen 4, as you see in this schematic. Start playing this. So, that is pen number 4. For pen number 4, you have to adjust the volume. As you can see, this is working pretty well. It sounds just great. Okay, let's turn this thing down. We're going to test now the tube 35L6, that's the output uh, tube, pen number 5. For pen number 5 and audio output, this should be all the way down. Then I'm going to touch the pen number 5. As you see, it's working pretty well. Stopped. If I touch it again, you see, it work. So the signal injectors, as you see, it work in those both tube. The purpose of doing this, if your radio is not working, you can test it this way to make sure your audio section is fine. Hopefully this makes sense. Now I'm going to set up to different way you can do this as well. As I mentioned, there's a three way you can handle this. And for those of you that you do not have the Bluetooth, you can use any radio like this as long as you have a 3.5 millimeter jack. Let's turn on the radio first. See, it's working now, right? I'm going to put this right here. Now I can again inject the signal to those two tubes. Pen 4. Remember in pen 4 you have to adjust the volume. Oh, 
All right, turn it down. For pen 5, on output, you have to turn this thing all the way down. Let's put it in pen 5. I can adjust the volume so you can hear it. You see? You can actually hear it pretty well. If I remove it, no sound. Let's put it back again. All right, so this was another equipment you can use. You can use any radio to send signals to the radio to test the audio section. There's one other way that I'm going to show you how to do that as well. This is another option that you can hook up if you have any computer or speaker like this. It has 3.5 millimeter jack. You can use this as an amplifier to send a stronger signals to the radio in jack really. So this side from the single tracer goes to the this is where the headset you can hook up the headset i'm going to set it right here all right now i have a choice i can use bluetooth or radio hook up to this side and the purpose i'm doing this if you're not getting strong signals this is the best way to use so i can set this up to the bluetooth right here all right I'm going to start the Bluetooth, just hold it for a second or so. Okay, it's on. I'm going to turn this one on as well. This is on. So let's turn on the radio. Alright. No, it can't be anywhere. It can't, it can't put it somewhere. There's no station. It doesn't matter really. Now we're going to send the signal to that tube. I can adjust the volume from here. You hear it? So you have that option. Use this as an amplifier. Also, you can adjust it from here too. All right. Let's turn all, all the way down. Now we're going to touch tube 5, output tube. Okay, from here I can just, you know, how loud I want to hear it. You can again use this as an amplifier. If the signals are not as strong, you can amplify it inside. So this was the few ways that I want to show you how to test this single injectors that you can actually send the signals, you know, to the radio and test the audio section of your radio. Hopefully this is going to help you to build something like this that you can do some tests on your radios. If the radio is not working, I suggest you use something like this. First you want to make sure that the audio section is fine. If you had turn on the radio and the radio there is no sound, the first thing you want to test the audio section. All right, this is a schematic I put together for you. In the left hand side here where the signal probe is hooked up. If you continue here, I saw the capacitor 0 0.01 microfarad, that's a 600 volts. If you continue to the right, it goes to the tip of the mono jack. That is where it's hooked up. If you look at the alligator clip on the left hand side, Continue, we soldered here 0 0.05 microfarad, that's a 600 volt capacitor, and then that's hooked up to the ground, this section of the mono jack. Hopefully, this is schematic going to help you to build yours. Stay tuned for upcoming video. We're going to talk about this single tracer, and this is another one that I'm going to share with you, it's very powerful very sensitive and it worked very well is a different design than my others as i mentioned with you through the years i built so many of them and i really like this one it worked very well very simple just need a few parts to be able to use it and we already of course we discussed about this today so i suggest pretty highly to build something like this then test it on your own radio and let me know the results in the comment section of this 
video. I really love to hear from you guys. I hope you're going to get as good result as I am getting. So anyway, stay tuned for, you know, upcoming video for this. I'm going to upload it soon. And if you have any question again regarding anything, let me know. If you like this video, so like thumbs up. And what this does is actually promote this video to other people who enjoy this hobby. At this time, I want to take the opportunity and thanks my subscribers uh, with their uplifting comments. You always encourage me to upload more videos since this is just a hobby of mine. Again, I appreciate you. Enjoy all these videos and you all have an awesome day. Take care. If you're interested to see more videos like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and you will be notified uh, when new video being uploaded. You have a great day.